Hello everyone, it's Justin Dawson from the All Things Techie podcast. This following episode of our podcast was recorded during Infocom 2024 that recently took place in Las Vegas. Our Infocom 2024 coverage is sponsored by X2O Media, Logitech, Nereva and Wirestorm. While you may be listening to this audio podcast, I always recommend watching the video version from our YouTube channel or from our official website. I want to thank you for all your support as we come closer to our 100th episode of All Things Techie. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Enjoy the show from Infocom 2024 live in Las Vegas. Here's the show that loves to talk about gadgets and gizmos from A-Logic to Yamaha. Cameras to control panels. You get what I mean. We love talking all things techie. In fact, that's the name of the show. And here all is All Things host, Techie Podcast. We are awesome. at the Logitech booth. Logitech sponsoring the All Things Techie Podcast while we're out at Infocom. I'm with Craig. How do you French say it? Sure, Easy. 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 Craig Easy. Craig Easy. Craig Easy. Craig Easy. You're from LA. I'm from LA. Oh, yeah, well, from LA. I, yeah. I came in through LA. You know, I heard, I heard. Uh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Road trip from LA yes. into Vegas. Yes, and then yes, it just goes yes. over the state line again. Oh, it does. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. still have June bloom in California, but out here that does not exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but once you step yeah. out of your car, you know the yeah, heat. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So. What has Logitech got for us? Let's let's have a what what what's new in Logitech? That's right. So today we're going to talk about a lot of amazing things. We're going to talk about things at flexible workspaces. We're going to talk about devices for things for people at home. We're going to talk about new conference room devices. All of that's going to be part of this tour, and we have a lot of really new cool stuff that we're going to. And what I love about Logitech is your sustainability. Like even your T-shirts are sustainability. Right. And we have a whole show and tell about all your sustainability. Right. right. And right. of course we. My Irish friend Craig in County Cork, okay. you know, he works for Logitech as well, so I have to do the experience center down right. in County Cork. Yeah, right. right. Well, I have to come over to America to see the new gear. Right, right. It just has to be Vegas, right? right. Of course, it has to be. Of course. Let's yeah. have a look around. Sure. Yeah. First thing that we're going to show up here at the booth is just a room booking solution, but also our brand new BYOD device called Meetup 2. So we want to just focus in right there. Meetup 2, brand new to the market. And really, the reason why we designed it is that people love our Meetup 1. They love it as a device where they can bring their laptop in the room if you just bring the camera right over here. And they can just take a cable, plug in, use the camera, and then also get what's displayed on their laptop, displayed on the television. We're going to be able to do that with Meetup 2. But we're going to be able to do that with a single cable up there. Cool right. And so designed specifically for smaller rooms, this is a really great BYOD solution that you can deploy. Now, in addition to that, you can also plug it into a PC, you can plug it into a roommate, and you can run the room as a room as well. So that's one device we're showing out for conference rooms that we just released. This one here, if we want to zoom in, is Logitech Room Booking. So folks are familiar with Tap Scheduler as the scheduling panel that's typically displayed outside of rooms. But with our new room booking solution, just like we're going to show a desk booking solution in just a second, employees can now book desks, they can now book rooms, they can be configured in Logitech Sync, which we'll also talk about today as well. And then when they come in, they have a simple experience where they can book. They can also do this, of course, to the calendar. They can do it ad hoc like I'm doing here. I don't want to book this because I want to allow for uh, someone else to interact with the device. You're going to see meeting schedule on the left. And again, it's, it's facilitating that experience for employees to come in and find where they want to work and find where they want to meet. And that can all, again, be configured through Logitech Sync. And uh, it's available on our devices, Logitech Flex, as well as Tesla. What I really love about that, Craig, is like you are going down the route. It's a smaller one to your other cameras, but it's it's one cable. It's USB-C. Right. Does it, does it power the device? Does it charge the device as well? It does not write charging, so from my understanding. Uh, but it will, but again, uh, HDMI as well as uh, camera control. Camera control as well. Yeah. And I love the booking software. So easy, customizable. Uh, customizable in what way? So you could put your own logos or university logos? Uh, not currently, not currently. Again, there's uh, we're always like uh, getting feedback, getting new ideas, right? Um, but for the time being, this is uh, this is the experience again. But like you know, it's it's simple, it's straightforward. You know, it, it can't go wrong on the on the booking system. Okay, so Logitech site is meant for to create a transformative experiences in rooms with one another front and center experience. 
right. He's gonna get the whole marketing spiel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So he's got two cameras that are, it's not 360. I think it's 215, right? So they're slightly articulated forward. There's a set of seven microphones on the top, right? That are gonna do everything from the direction of arrival so they know if Kaylee's speaking, if I'm speaking. Um, built, uh, not a built in privacy shutter, but built in mute button. Three different mounts that come with it. And again, the idea is to be able to show the context of the room but to also give a camera that's right here so that we just get the quality and you can get that sort of person-to-person -person interaction from a person who's remote to a person that's in the room. Okay, so that's the standard spiel. Now, what's all the new stuff? I think the biggest new thing is that we did data for smart switching, which you saw. No, uh, we just from the window then. Okay, okay, so the beta for smart switching is out, meaning that for folks who are signed up, we're getting feedback on the, the idea of, okay, I'm facing here and I'm getting this feed, and then as I face the front, the idea that smart switching will flip my camera feed to the remote. Right? And so what's happening is that if you're remote, Desi is talking to me, and you're still getting the front facing view of it. Desi is talking to me, the remote participant, you're also getting the front facing view too. So it's going to flip. Right? And the way it's doing that is that Rally Bar and Site are determined, oh, okay. I agree, Tyler is sitting there. Rally Bar agrees, Site agrees, and then all you have to do is just watch with the turns in his head. So there's really powerful technology that's been built into both of these so that they can communicate together, right? And I, I'd say that that's really kind of the, the biggest feature that's coming, that basically everyone and their mother has been asking for uh, like every week. It's been, it's been asked for a while. And that is part though, even in current situations without the data, the site gets installed into the room and it's the most popular room in that organization. The reason is, we scale everything getting sent back Turn media equity for marketing out of one of what it actually means was if I'm your remote user and you guys are all sitting here, I'm at home, I feel like I have a seat at the table. Yeah. And that truly is what site members are very, very good. Even without smart switching, smart switching just takes it and even without Timmy's turn hands up. The great part about it is I'm standing up and if it catches me, what's going to happen is when I have to be taxing the level and nobody can tell that I'm standing up, just look, without looking at the room. And it's, it's, it's that experience, it's very great. You have to see this, this is really cool. Go ahead and stop me in a view. Look, just look for room. Now why is that important? Well, if I'm on the other side and I can read lips, and you guys hit mute and you're still that very close up and you start going, this guy's not going. <laughs> and then you hit unmute. I'm like, thanks. Right? Once again, it's all about that experience. And all about that meeting everybody. That really, yes, it's a piece of hardware, but it's far more. So I think, you know, uh, to piggyback on that, the thing that we like to talk about a lot is like, even the height of sight, it's not too tall and it's not too short. Right? So it's like, we, yeah. we've taken feedback from folks, we do reps of just you know, what works for you? How do you have meetings? Like, before Site did not do what Tyler just described. But then once we got feedback, like, oh, uh, I feel a little uncomfortable meeting and then saying like, that was the stupidest idea ever. Yeah. That was the software piece that we built in. Yeah. So it's important to know that we're constantly getting that feedback and adjusting software, but we're also like really creating devices that are really user-centric and they're designed based on the feedback that we've gotten from folks. If you have a laptop here, that laptop is not gonna cover this camera, right? It's specifically designed to do that. Not with that, the mic, the whole nothing between the mic and the mic. It's my strong and high-end mic. I'm gonna just put that on the mic, but it's not to make the video. I don't have to but I don't have any problem with the technology that on the table. And the other two things, we have to use to wear the bottle of water. And that is a bottle of water. Yeah. So that is, User experience, we have the one of the So it is becoming visible to meet them. It is amazing because we, when they first came in, we saw them and thought, ooh, what's this big device going to look like on a table? And that's the first and the only time we've ever had that thought. You yeah. built them in, and then you see them on the screen, and they just they intertwine with your meetings and with no questions. And as you said, this isn't a real meeting. We all would have laptops out normally and being able to see how it is on the screen, you realize, oh no, this is 
and I, I like that everyone benefits from all the constant software upgrades that we're doing continuously for the better user experience. Yeah. And there's one, one other thing that I'll point out before we finish. So if you look what's happening in the room view on the bottom, we don't have a centered view of the room. My assumption is because we have people standing out here. Yeah. However, we also have software that allows for gating of the camera, right? So what we can do is we can set a camera zone that says, oh, this glass window, I actually don't want anyone that's standing outside of that glass window to be framed. I probably may adjust that between today and tomorrow. Yes, yes. Um, but I think it at least shows like we have the ability to do that as well. Is that even on sync? You have both options. You can do it through sync, although you will not get the room view for security reasons. We don't want people to be able to peer into the room remotely unless they're in a remote UI management scenario. Um, but you can also do it through the device as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you just go into the Cloud OS backend, or you can do it through sync. So Greg, we've just been in and did the Logitech site with right. the video bar. Right. What, what, as, just to recap, you know, it's the height of a bottle. It doesn't go over the size if you had a laptop screen open on your desk. You're getting 280, oh, no, 315. 315, yes. Um, view, right. And, you know, it, it cropped the image, AI cropped the image. So like, if I'm taller or smaller, it is adjusting, right, right. or if I'm sitting back in my seat, it is adjusting. Right, right, yeah. So I mean, you're you're able to see everything in the demo, right? But I think the idea is that it's it's really bringing a front and center experience to meeting rooms. So you're getting the context of the room with the front of room camera. You're also getting a center of table camera, which is giving a really high definition feed of people who are sitting around the room, and it's capturing those kind of interactions that are happening across the table. And then with the introduction of smart switching again, which is in beta, um, but we're looking for a public release coming soon. Uh, we're going to be able to switch the feed of the center camera and the front camera so that people remote are constantly getting a front-facing picture of people who are speaking. And I, I, I think that's just absolutely awesome. I really like that camera. Now, how big of a boardroom table do you recommend when you're using the size of the next one? Um, it really depends on the scenario. Um, I would say uh, when, when you have a room of six to eight seats, 10 seats, um, site functions really well. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also important to note that uh, there's a lot of both software and, well, uh, software and partner features that are coming out soon that are gonna allow for rooms that are even bigger. So, for example, um, you know, we, we've got an intelligent director set up uh, on the side over here for Zoom where you can have rooms that are a little bit bigger. We are, you know, it, there's there's just a lot of conversations with partners that I think could open up a lot of new possibilities. Now here's, here's, here's maybe a thought for the future. Could you use two Logitech sites on a larger boardroom table. Uh, again, I think um, development, feature, development feature sets and things that are coming. There's been a lot of feedback that we're getting, and devices are getting better and better and better. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. one for the future there. Okay, so we're now at um, shared workspaces. So this side is shared workspaces, the other side is for the home. And I'm showing off really one of my favorite products, Logitech Flex. What I love about it is that it's a display, it's a dock, it's a managed device, and then with certain softwares, you're also getting insights as well. So why don't we zoom in here? We're seeing it in de deployed with different partners. So this is AppSpace we have here. This is Zoom Workspace. If we look, take a look over there, hopefully we can get a good view. We've got Microsoft Teams, and then we've also got our Logitech desk, desk booking solution as well. So you can provision it to a number of different things, just like our conference room devices, right? And again, the idea is that it allows for employees to book a desk, for them to find their desk, and to plug in and just start working, right? Very simple device. Um, a couple of the other features that I love in it is it's a, a, a lot of the cords are specifically hidden. The Kensington lock on the back, so the dock itself can't be hidden. Um, and then even small features like just uh, we can't 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 see it from here. But even small features like the magnetic bulb that's on the side mm -hmm. allows for a, a little bit further. See, see that bulb that's that's on the cord right there? Oh yeah, like that's a magnet. It just allows people once they unplug to find a magnet like this. Oh, just put it there. Right, so there's. I think one of the stories of Logitech is that it was really user-centric design. We really thought about how is it that users use desks, how is it that users use docs, and what can make it easier for those folks. That's very much part of the story with Logitech Flex as well as our other devices.
I love the, I love the fact as well you have your USB port on the, on the front. Correct, correct. So we've got USB ports in the back, the ones that you want hidden, that you don't want people toying with. And you've also got ones in the front because users are going to want to be able to plug in, say, their own headsets or, uh, you know, maybe they need to charge a device, right? So that's going to be provided for them in the front as well. Um, and I, I guess the other thing that will show up in the station too, that's going to be on both sides, is our line of keyboards and headsets. So this is really what Logitech is really known about, right? Is that I think mouse, mice and keyboard company, uh, this is one of our, uh, our our newest signature slim combo that's coming out, where we've got, I think this is our K650. Basically it's a affordable, but also um, uh, uh, very user centric, um, keyboard and mouse combo. The one that we have here is our MX Master Series or MX Combo, which is should be well known by everyone. This is really the one that a lot of tech blogs write about. So MX Master 3S, it's got the contour in the hands, it's got the mag scroll on the top where it, it locks and it unlocks. It's got the scoop keys, really great feeling keyboard. Um, this, is, this has been, I think, one of the most popular solutions for mice and keyboards, especially for like advanced users. Um, this is actually the keyboard set that I use at home for myself every single day. Yeah. Okay, and on this side, um, you're, you're seeing a lot of very similar mice and keyboards that we saw on the other side. So again, MX Combo here, but this is really the one on this side that's a little bit different. So this is called Logi Dock. Yeah, I've seen these. Not to be confused with Logi Dock Flex. Um, it is a dock for the home, but the difference is it's got a speaker and a microphone that's built into the dock, number one. Um, it's got controls for camera, mute, and then this button in the middle, this, this one is specifically for Teams. Um, but this is allowing for one-touch join. So once you connect it and integrate it with your calendar into, it's allowing you for you to join meetings with a single touch from Logidoc, which is super cool. So um, I think besides that, it's just, uh, I, I, would, I would want you to just take a look at some of the new headsets that we've come out with. These are really fantastic headsets that um, we're offering for, again, both home and businesses. This one is our Zone Wireless 2 which has active noise cancellation, it's got filters and the microphone. It's really a fantastic uh, on-ear headset. We've also got an over-ear headset at the very end, our um, Zone Vibe Wireless that's at the end. And then the new device that we're showing off here is I think our Zone 305. Um, so we're offering just different pricing tiers, similar functionality, similar function sets, right? But the idea is that based on the, this. yeah, based on what your what, what your business wants to provide, different headsets. And then this here is actually our uh, it's a it's it's an on the go portfolio where you can carry the keyboard, you can carry the trackpad. It has a laptop stand that comes in it, and it's in this cute little portfolio as well. So everything here are devices for on the go at home. Uh, Flexible desk workspaces, but yeah, you've, you've seen it all. What a great tour, Craig. Like, you have so much from the both sides, whether you're working from home, whether you're, you know, hot desking, like the, the, the headphones, like you're famous for your headphones, you know, for, for noise cancellation. You have all range of all prices, you know, and I'm really hoping that in the not so distant future, I'll be getting to out to County Cork and visit your Irish brother from a different mother craig and uh, seeing the test center and seeing all yeah. the developments out yeah. there because yeah. it's, it's so great that it it comes from from ireland as well and uh, craig thank you so much for joining us about where can we find more information if, we, if, we, if people want to take a fine look at us so uh, all of our products are on logitech.com of course where you can get basic information and the storyline for all of our different devices and what they do and their functions and feature sets in addition to that Anybody working with channel partners, all of our devices, typically on our channel partner websites as well. So lots of different places to go. Logitech.com. Thank yep. you for sponsoring us as Vegas for Infocom 2024. Thank you for tuning in to All Things Techie Podcast. Part of the Extreme Media Network. Follow us on Twitter at AV Tech Junkies. Subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also watch our show on YouTube by visiting youtube.com forward slash at Justin underscore or underscore Dawson. Previous episodes of our show can be found on our official site, www.allthingstech.ie. For advertising and sponsorship opportunities, please visit www.extrememedia.ie.